a lot of people are talking about low carb and keto and I wanted to talk to you today about the truth about carbohydrates and how to really find them on the food labels, really understand the food labels and really help you to just read food labels because it's actually not complicated. So in case you are new to me, I am Angela and I am a functional health coach. I'm also, I also have a background as a registered nurse and um, yeah, so let me just go ahead and get started. What happened today that got me thinking about this is I started looking at my kids cereal. Now before I show it to you, I just want you to know that <laughs> they are teenagers and I didn't really get started really on my health um, awareness journey until they were a little bit older and a little bit more set in their ways. So I was always on the healthier side, um, but it was more of the low uh, fat kind of um, 80s health mentality. I always say it's 80s because that's where um, it really started for me. All right, so I started looking at my kids' cereals and I thought, well, they were both of these choices were gluten-free. And I, okay, the reason I was looking at them was I wanted a little something after my very healthy salad that I had for breakfast. Yes, I had a salad for breakfast and it was very good and I was happy with that, but I still was hungry um, for just a little something more. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll have a little bit of cereal. Um, and so I looked at their cereals. And so here's one, <laughs> one of them that they have is Frosted Cheerios. So I was like, mm, that's bound to be terrible. And then I saw this one and I thought, well, you know, Honey Nut Chucks is gluten free. So, <laughs> but, you know, let me check. Let me take a look. So, what did I find out? Which one <laughs> do you think is less bad? <laughs> is less, okay, I don't like to say good, bad. Um, which one is the least um, damaging? <laughs> and I want to talk more about the carbohydrates in a minute, but what I was surprised to find out was this was significantly lower in carbs than this one. This one it has 38, yes, 38 grams of carbohydrates and only two grams of fiber in one cup of this. So. Um, you can you can say well net carbs you can take the fiber out this is why I mentioned uh, the car, uh, fiber you can take the fiber um, the total fiber number off of the carbohydrates but that still leaves you with 36 grams of carbs so high carb in one cup of cereal and then this one is um, 22 and two grams of fiber. And so you have uh, 20 as opposed to 36 grams of carbs. Now, the main thing um, to know is, is really reading the ingredients. You really wanna see what is in your cereal or whatever you're reading the label on. Um, this one, we have whole grain oats and then sugar and a bunch of other things, more sweeteners. All right, so skip, skip, corn syrups, so something else, something else, uh, brown sugar syrup, you know, it's just lots of sugar. But that, as opposed to this one's probably going to have a whole lot more, um, we've got whole grain corn, corn meal, then sugar, then, um, and I'm skipping them just because they're not um, sugar. So skip honey, skip molasses, skip, skip. Um, actually, that must be all the sugar because then we've just got oil and flavors. And so that's what we've got in that one. Now, I had a healthy choice. And again, this is something I would only eat as a treat, 
But hey, look at this. Nature's Path Organic Premium Organic Granola. Okay? So healthy. And you see, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. But one quarter of a cup, one quarter of a serving of this has 20 grams of carbs. And again, only two grams of fiber. So <laughs> one quarter of a cup is the same as a quarter of a cup of this, except it's organic. Um, <laughs> it's organic. It's got the whole grain rolled oats and cane sugar, and then an oil, and then some dark chocolate, which includes sugar, um, and it's got dried coconut and freeze-dried berry blend. Okay, so it's got some, you know, healthy things, kind of. Um, but it is a treat. These are all what I call treats. Now, why does it matter? Why do we care about carbs? We care about carbs because carbs are where we have high cholesterol. Carbs are what causes problems with heart disease. Carbs are what causes diabetes and carbs do have more of a likelihood of causing us to gain weight, of us to um, store fat. It makes it a lot harder to lose fat mass. So if we are trying to lose some fat, we want to mitigate the amount of carbs that we're taking in. It doesn't mean we have to be eating ketogenic. Um, doesn't mean you necessarily have to be eating, um, you know, uh, high fat, low carb, anything like that, but we do want to be so aware of how much carbs we are eating. Um, so what did I do? I had about a quarter of a cup of this one is what I did and a little bit of almond milk um, because I had already had some, actually some cherries and I meant to, <laughs> which is more carbs, um, and I actually meant to um, look it up, but you can do a Google search. Um, maybe I'll, I'll add it in the comments, but <laughs> to, to um, say how many carbs did I have already? But that was why I was really being aware of how many carbs I was eating was because I had already had some cherries and that's carbs, you know? So I don't wanna eat a bunch of carbs because I know um, that when I do, I have had these um, crashes in my blood sugar. That means that my insulin got spiked and it, when it crashed, um, this is a roller coaster that is a warning sign that you're um, becoming insulin resistant. And that's what did happen um, over the couple of decades in the past. So I've stopped since um, having that, having um, the crashes in my blood sugar where I would get lightheaded, where I would get dizzy. Um, that doesn't happen anymore because I am not eating so many um, high density carbs um, and low fiber carbs. So again, you know, looking at the cherries and looking at how many carbs they had, also want to look at how much fiber they had. I'm guessing more than two grams per 20 of carbs. Um, so I'll take a look and I'll add that in the comments and thank you for watching and um, read your labels and pay attention to carbs uh, if you want to um, protect your heart and protect yourself from diabetes. All right, I will see you in the, soon, in, in, in the future or soon or something. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>